Okay. <clears throat> I started to record. Uh, this is Little Phantom from Phantom Artists in Belgium. Um, this is a easy Sunday stream, which means I'm going to stay put for as long as I can. Uh, hurt my knee uh, Friday. I fell on it. And also, yeah, well, I fell on my on my left kneecap and uh, I also hurt my uh, shoulder because of the, um, you know, the bounce that I made. Hello, per Patty. So I've got some stuff here around me that I'm going to show you. Okay, I need to put my tea somewhere safe because this, this place is not safe. Moving the tea very carefully. There we go. So I've got my duct tape ready for the for the corners of my dory, which is over here. I need to kind of grab behind me. <laughs> uh, yeah, falling on your kneecap is very painful. Trust me. <laughs> Uh, I saw some stars. Yes, per, per Patty. I, I'm elevating my leg. I'm elevating my leg. Wait, can I move this? Wait. Uh, right. See, see, see. I am elevating my leg. See? <laughs> elevating. <laughs> right, okay. Now, now I need to make sure that my camera stays that's kind of straight it's like one millimeter off to be honest but yeah okay that will have to do so my leg is elevated on a pillow <laughs> uh, yeah <clears throat> so my plan was to you know these little corners i made this one out of uh out of uh, scrapbook paper with sticky back plastic or shelf liner or whatever you want to call it. Terry said another name yesterday, I forgot. I didn't write it down. And oh, excuse me, there was a little burp. Um, so sticky back plastic, blah blah. And why is my okay. And the corners, you know, because of the, I use this day in, day out. So the corners start to suffer a bit. So that is why I want to strengthen them up. Um, and it will go with the hinges that I made. <laughs> so it doesn't tear. So that is what I'm going to do today. And then uh, I want to... You probably have seen this one. This is my. This was my only journal. Uh, it, it just has a cover that I made myself. That I can. Everything is falling out. Uh, that I just, you know, put on there. This is just a normal sketchbook, really. And this is made out of canvas. So let's put that back where it belongs. Very hard on your hands, by the way. Trying to sew with your hands the canvas stuff. My hands were swollen uh, for two days after that. I couldn't, I couldn't really use my hands. And of course, these always. Where's the sticky thing? Nope. Oh, these always come loose. I need to find a solution for that. <clears throat> because I most likely will most likely will try to transfer some of, of of these things into my dory. Hold on, make sure the stuff isn't framed. I'm zoom I'm zoomed out as much as I can. I still don't have enough space. So um, important stuff from from this one. I want to include in my dory because there's thing, <clears throat> things that are important to me, like 
what to do when I have a panic attack. I mean, I know there's like six steps, uh, but you know, it's handy for me as a reminder. So I want to put that somewhere here in my dory. Um, so that will probably take the whole of the stream, but it isn't quite, I don't know, how full is it? It's like one third. And this here, I already condensed from other journals. Well, not, not all my journals, but some other journals. So that I don't have to go look through those again to see uh, important stuff that is, you know, that I want to include here. Including this one, I mean. So, anyway. Ah, this is a technique one. Oh, I, I, I wanted to show you the stuff that I had in... Oh, this needs to go in this one. This is my planner one. There we go. Uh, so, the things I have here... Just a moment. Let's put my dory next to my leg. <laughs> uh, the stuff I'm going to work with is, let's put my mouse over here. So I do have some um, brushes ready, just in case, to use with my cheap set of Stablo watercolors uh, to, you know, practice watercolors, in fact. So there we go. Put this in there. This way it makes takes up less space. Um, this is the one I usually have on my desk, no matter what. So this is a uh, painter's tape, uh, purple one, yellow one, scissors, of course. Ah, this, this was from yesterday. I was uh, testing, testing out how uh, I wanted to make a turquoise. I kind of succeeded, <laughs> uh, and these were two other colors uh, from pencils, watercolor pencils that I used, and this is the result. If you on this on this type of paper, it's it's like I'm not gonna say it's Tumble River paper, but it's you know. So the watercolor color goes through, as you can see, but the acrylic didn't. I rubbed that just on with my finger, and you know, you might see you might see that there's something on the other side, but it doesn't go through. So that was kind of funny to see, to be honest. And then I have my other. These are all scraps scraps of paper that I, uh, you know, from the inserts that I made, the excess of it. I just cut that excess in half, rounded the corners, and ta-da! I can use these. I can. Use them for I can use them as tip ins, watercolor in, on there, draw on it, etc. etc. Et I have different kind of sizes, different kind of papers, all that jazz. Let's just that so that it's even. And this one is on top of it uh, a washi tape that's supposed to go in there, by the way. These are Uh, gold and silvers, a thick one, a thin one, thin one. This one is, wow, that's hard to see. One till two millimeters, eight, uh, 0 0.8 millimeters, 0 0.8. This is not from myself. Uh, this is from a friend of mine. Uh, because she brought me a bag of punches and stuff like that, and uh, these things were just in there. Uh, this one and this one are the Sakura glaze pens, gel gel pens that gl that have have a glaze finish. Also not for me. A these are all the pens that I uh, managed to uh, activate again. The other ones are I still put in a box over there. Uh, gold one. Then these are the 
moon, neon, moon, moonlight, moon star. This is a moon and a star, but these are these are the neons. These are the ones that I managed to activate again. Uh, I really love those. Seriously. This is mine, just a you know simple watercolor, you know a water brush, fountain pen that has issues, and a cat hair. <laughs> it had issues with ink flow. Not really sure what I can do about that, but mm, we'll see. Just you know something to erase my ink, pencil, some clip stuffies, you know. Let's put it back in there. This is what I usually have on my desk. Not too much, just you know, a few stuffies. <laughs> Washi tapes. The only the sizes that I have is like the centimeter one and the half centimeter one. Seriously, cat hair. What is my cat doing in this box? <laughs> Oh, these, these are actually, uh, you know, um, how do I say this? It doesn't have the commercial on it anymore. The, these are normally from uh, where ice cream was put in. So, <clears throat> I didn't eat all this ice cream, by the way. <laughs> Most of these I, I got from someone else. But these are just, you know, where ice cream, when, where one liter ice cream is in. And cleaned out and this way you have your you know I use I, I, I like to use stuff like that repurpose and stuff like that so wash it I also have these I don't know if you can see that but it's very very look at that it's like oh my goodness <laughs> it hurts your eyes when you look at it uh, so I have some of these too. Um, let's put that back over there where I found it. I'm going to get on the back side. I also have my water, by the way. Oh, screaming dark. Oh, maybe I could put my adapter in. There we go. So yeah, let's put that in there and my two tapes. My pencils. I also have my little pouch that I always have with me when I when I go to class. <laughs> uh, uh, two text markers. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing what's what, what's what's in your pen stuff. <laughs> uh, but I like to see I, I, I do like to see stuff like that from other people so can't help it. Um, just a normal pen. I don't know. At this, this was like, I like to write with these. I bought these from the Aldi. Not really sure how. It, yeah, we just say Aldi. I'm not really sure how it's how it's being said in other countries. It's a European store. Uh, it was like I don't know, forty of these for four euros and a bit, something like that. So it's a one point zero. Apparently, but I like write, writing with these because this is the one I'm, I'm I'm using right now. This is the this is the second the second one because the first one I've already used up. But the ink the ink in there goes goes a very long way because I write and I write and I write. Seriously, I write a lot. Uh, some Stidler. No, Stabilo. Sorry, Stabilo. Yeah, st these are Stabilo. Stabilo stuffies. Point eighty eight fine. This is the fine one, zero point four. I just have the classic colors with me uh, because you know it's cool. <laughs> so we don't go to go. We don't want to go all rainbowy. Red, big pen. This is a blue one. This is the last one that is left. I had quite a few of those. And they wrote so easy. This is the last one I have of those. 
I'm afraid to use it up. And this is just a mechanical pencil. I have no idea what kind of lead is in there. I don't know. No idea. These are just uh, those cheapo stuffies. But if you want to, if you pull everything out, you can still put new leads in there. So if you find out which kind of leads are supposed to be in there. I see. Oh, is that everything that's left? Oh my goodness. I only have this left. <gasps> Stress. Stress. <laughs> right, okay, let's put it back in there. Okay, I, I also have a pink one, so I'm most likely going to uh, put the, you know, the little lead uh, into the purple one. Purple is more my color. I have anything else in there? Oh, not a text marker. Purple. Little uh, eraser that has seen its best time. Uh, anything else? Nope. That's it. Okay. So this is the, the stuff that I have with me when I go to class. That's not everything, by the way. I also have another pouch. Ah, ruler. With a little bit of rubber so it doesn't, you know, go all the way. If you, if you press it down, you really need to... See? Hello, Carol. Uh, yeah, true, Patty. I have no idea where I, where I got it, to be honest. It's just true. You know. Oh, but there are fountain pens, especially for lefties. I saw that somewhere. There are especially fountain pens for lefties. So that's that. Put that over there. Um, then, okay, uh, uh, something else that I use for school is this one. Um, this has two pockets. I, don't, I usually don't take off the tags because sometimes I find it handy to just grab the tag and pull it out. Uh, maybe I'm lazy, because that could be it. Uh, the front pocket has markers. In a few different colors. There's a lot of markers. Four, four, ten markers. And it has a fine nib and a thick nib. I ha I've been having these for years and they still work. They still work. This, I think this is actually for kids though, but mm. and they didn't cost a lot either, so mm. <laughs> I had lots lots of stuff with kids. And then inside here we have Ah, oh, these were pencils that uh that someone gave away uh from Eberhard Faber. Uh I'm not sure if Eberhard Faber is part of Faber Castell. I don't know. Uh, it has a number on there, 1440. But these are. This is a set of I think 12. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, 12. So. Gula pens. Hmm. I haven't I haven't heard of gula pens. But I do know there's uh pens especially for especially for lefties that I know. So yeah, some you know just twelve colors just in case. And I've needed this already by the way. To you know, mark certain body parts and all that kind of, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Uh, right, okay. Then, um, this is the one that used to be on my desk. Well, not this, to be honest. This is a Kitty Pelican 
watercolor, you know, that's not really watercolor. I'm not really even sure if it's gouache. I have no idea. It's very chalky. So this is the one that I want to use up first. Because, you know, the colors are okay, but uh, I don't really like the chalkiness. So this is one of the... I think if I rub on one... See? <laughs> uh, it just goes off. So I think this is just... Uh, I'm just going to use this up as quickly as possible so you know that it doesn't take any more space. Let's put that there. A ruler, very handy. Oh, yeah, this is my Windsor Newton travel palette, but I put gouache in there. Uh, I put gouache in there because I wanted to learn to work with gouache. So I, most of the colors. Except for, wait, the silver one I bought separately and I bought a purple one separately. Yeah, and the rest is you have a cold yellow. These are both actually pinkish red, to be honest. So, you. Yeah. This this one doesn't look pinkish red, but if you you know put it on paper, it's pinkish red. So uh, and then cold blue and a dark blue. This is more the the reddish blue. So you can't mix all the colors with this one, but you know. And I couldn't find anything else. I wanted the gold or the bronze one, but they only had silver, so I just used silver. And I put some silver in there. And it also has a... It took it took a while for this to dry though. Seriously. And this is just, you know, the little thingy that goes with it. Huh. Windsor Newton doesn't say size. It's a little travel thingy. These are the washi tapes that I keep. There's supposed to be another one. There's supposed to be three. Normally I put three washi tapes in here. But I can only find two. Huh. Okay. Little lettering stencil. Doesn't break. Very good. <laughs> ah, little triangle. Doesn't break. Very good. <laughs> ah. Some things need to be childproofed. <laughs> Little scissor. Ah, this is my ruler with inches on one side and centimeters on the other. <laughs> if I, if I want to, you know, uh, see what what kind of centimeters is in is in inches, I'd use it with this one. <laughs> Very small. Not break proof, however. This is a test that I did with something. This is one of the bookmarks of of book depository, I think. I did a test with something. Can't remember. I, I forgot to write it down. So, ah, eraser. These are just some cards. Uh, this is uh, this is the yellow one. This one. The purple one here, and these are just with uh, normal masking tape. But I went over with um, with paint with acrylic paint so these and these are the ones that I made myself and they are strips they are strips so if I go over it like that then it's just a long strip and then uh, there's another strip and then there's another strip beneath that so mm -hmm. What are you doing here? This is a 3B pencil. Let's put that over there. Some more marking stuffies. Another eraser. Sticky notes. Metallic sharpener thingy. Ink cartridges for my Parker pen. 
but my Parker pen at the moment has a uh, Parker fountain pen, excuse me, uh, has a uh, I refilled it from a bottle with black ink. So this is, I don't know if you can see that, there's this little thingy and you need to put your pen into the bottle and then pull this up and then it pulls up ink into your cartridge here or reservoir or stuff like that. So that's that. Some pencils. These are some others that don't fit in a Parker pen, but they are for other fountain pens. Okay. Pencils. These are cheapo pencils. I think for this, together with uh, these four on this side, these are just the grays, black, two grays, and a white one, like two euros in the kit section. So that's that. Now we have this one's an old one. Stadler's silver ball. 0 0.3 millimeters. Where is a paper when you need one? Here is a paper. And just this is how fine it writes. Very fine. That one. Um, more water brushes. This is the this is the fine one, and this is a thick one. So the medium one is in my in this one. Silver is that a silver? No, it's a white one. Yeah, this is a. If I can get it to talk again, uh, that's the only problem with stuff like that. Yeah, sometimes it needs a little bit convincing. Yeah. I will need to fiddle with this one more because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I also, I also have a uh, Posca pen, so mm. another one of these. This is a black one that I got from a esoteric um, book book an esoteric shop that sold books and cards and incense and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was, was as a you know an extra thank you that I got this one. This is something very handy. This is also so, uh, one that I have since I was like 18. This, it looks like a normal pen. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like a normal pen. Not a, it, it, So it doesn't look like a fountain pen, but you can actually use the cartridges from a fountain pen. This is so cool. Seriously, so cool. And of course, you know, there's, but yeah, this, 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 this is quite old, so still works. What is that one? I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, HB pencil, black pen, eraser for ink. Wow, well, what do you know? I have another mechanical pencil. Okay, that's that. Let's put the stuff back together more. On that side. And I kind of, you know, put them in little categories. This is the... This is... This looks purple, but it's actually blue. So this is the green and blue, and then everything with, you know, warm stuffies, the yellows, oranges, a red, brown, and then this is more in the purple-pink section. Put that there, put there. That doesn't go in there. 
this one goes over here. Just put the stuff he's in there. Like you see, I kind of have a system. left mm -hmm. okay uh, this is the combination yeah normally these paper clips aren't on there but I put them in there I put them on there because I thought I was going to use this this one as a for my for my school stuff but you know it's actually just a little tiny too big so so this has four different colors and these are also represented here big crystal one point no is it 1.6 or yeah 1.6 and these are you know the pink light blue light green and purples and this is the same but in a you know In a different format. Zip. Let's put this back in there. I see another mechanical pencil, red pen, and then a gold and a silver pen. Let's put that in there. Oh, goodness me. But you know, most of these are just found in in normal stores yeah it's a very good size but the thing is for um, if I want to you know for school it's just a little bit too big I have far too many toys <laughs> we haven't started with this one yet <laughs> um, oh, where did my thing go oh, my thing went over here Uh, I uh, I touched my mouse. No, no, no wonder. <laughs> uh, let me take a sip of tea because my throat is a little bit dry. Man, I've been talking about my kit supply stuffies. Well, not all this kit supplies, but you know, uh, for thirty-two minutes. Woo Ah, there we go. Okay. These are just normal uh, Stedler um, pencils. And they have, I don't know if you can see that. Wait, what did my camera do? Oh. Maybe it's this. Yeah, okay, it was that. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's this little white around the lead that is anti-break uh, it's you know to stop it from breaking so and this is a set of 24 yeah of 24 pencils yeah, let's put this back where they belong next let's do the ice cream box first <laughs> Uh, this is also very uh, also kid stuff, by the way. Also kid stuff. <laughs> because what do we have here? These are crayons. These are crayons. So there's the normal crayons. I don't know if it has a brand. It says non-toxic, made in China. It doesn't have a brand. But you know, this can be handy to use, uh, for example, for. Um, what did I use this for? In a mixed media um, thing where you use pictures or something like that, and you know, you go around it. And then I use these kind of things just, you know, to make it pop a little bit more. And these are the. No. Uh, these are the ones you can, you know, 
They pop in and out. In and out. But you know, this is, this is kid stuff, so. Let's put that back in there. I also have uh, other others like these, but in, in, in a smaller. <laughs> you want to eat all the ice cream and sort your supplies? <laughs> Uh, but I also have these smaller ones. This is like Crayola, but not not from the brand Crayola, if you know what I mean. So that's that. And I also have these little pencils. They're they're like this, and they but I, ca I can't reach them right now. But uh, they're thicker. But the pigment that they release is actually quite good for children, children stuff. Okay, um, gel pens. These are. Let's see if I can find them all. It should be about six. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, six. These are. Sparkly gel pens you can use on your skin, so you can make tattoos on your skin with these. But I was just like, oh, it's sparkly, and oh, it's gel pen, and I was like, okay, let's put it in my cart. <laughs> but you can actually make skin tattoos. There, it's non-toxic, and you can wash them off and all that other kind of stuff. So, skin tattoos. <laughs> if I ever want to make a skin tattoo. <clears throat> These are metallic gel pens. I put the metallic gel pens together. These are oh stay on there. Uh these are pastel ones. Pastel ones and they have a they have a smell on it on them. Like apple and berries, and I don't know what those are. Strawberry, lemon, or oh, is it banana? No, it's banana. <laughs> so I think this is actually also for children, but no. These are neons, five colors in neons. Too bad that there isn't any blue in there. Hmm. These have sparklies in them. You can see it on the cap. I'm not sure if my camera will pick it up because it's on. It's not on automatic focus, but they have sparkles on them, so they write with the color and it sparkles. Hmm. These are other uh, smelly ones. But these are more more neon-ish, and these are these aren't actually gel pens. These these are actually normal pens, but with the color and I think some sparkles. Yeah, some sparkles. Hmm. So that's it. Okay. Oh. Let's go for this one first. These are whoop, Stabilos Fine 0 0.4. I can't remember. 20? 2, 5. It's nine, fourteen, twenty-one. This is twenty-one uh, of the Stedler's fine liners. These are kids markers. No idea. Carioca, apparently. <laughs> ah, that's the brand, Carioca. But these are kids, markers, all different kind of colors. And then these are fake stabilos. 
<laughs> I don't know how else to call them because there's no brand, no nothing, uh, but they work. All the rest of them died, but these two still work. Uh, these I just found recently in a. Well, it's not a craft shop, it's more like a pound shop ish. And this is like. I don't know what this is. But. See? It's like a text marker, but not really. Not really sure what that is. I was like, hmm. And I have the pink one of that too. And it does come off, so that's good. <laughs> and these are the Pilot Friction pens. I'm not really sure if that's pen. But, you know, you just put it on, but because of the friction, it disappears. But actually, you can use the back of it. Why am I using my hand as a palette? <clears throat> anyway, uh, I saw these used by Romani on Romani's Realm YouTube. Uh, so I was like, hmm, that could be interesting. So, yeah, that is that. Put all the things back in there. Okay, apparently it is not to be used on skin. <laughs> because it leaves a mark on my skin. I think my skin is not too happy. Okay, I'm supposed to go into the middle. There you go. And then we have two scissors. This is, I'm not sure if, if you will be able to see that, but this one just goes like we like waves of sea. And this one is uh, little waves. I have I have other ones, but these are the are the ones that I like the most. Put on there. And then put that over there, put that over there. I have Hmm. Art line drawing system. Several points. 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and 0 0.2. Black. This was because I wanted to. This, it says pigment ink, water based but water resistant and acid free. And it has a. Shashihata? Drawing, graphic design, illustrations, documents. So I was like, hmm, this can be interesting. Hello, Imelda. Just doing a little show of my stuffies. These are just markers. <laughs> if I can open them. Okay, let's take another one. <laughs> just normal, everyday markers. I'm not really sure. It just says text marker, no brand, so mm -hmm. brandless. These are again kid markers. These are again kid markers. You have a thick point. I mean, you can use it, you know, straight, and you can use it on the side. So this way you have several sides, if you if you want to call it like that. And this one, yeah. And this one has a special nib. For example, you can see there are like, you know, let me just show you paper. Like this. And every color has a different one. For example, this one is a stamp. The black one is a stamp. You won't be able to see it like this. I can't even see it with my own eyes. But if you stamp it, 
you get the yin yang symbol so every marker has his own this is a smiling apparently Uh, you have hearts, fish, little feet, stars, uh, clover four, four clover, uh, apples, butterflies, and this is the seed that you already eat. So that's that. Then I have Tiny gel pens. <laughs> of course, I had to have tiny gel pens. Uh, and then this one is a calligraphy pen, 2.0 from Artline Ergoline. It's been a while since since I've tried to. The point is, what was it again? 45 degrees, and you can't roll your pen around in your in your hand. Can't really see it like that, can you? I need to make sure that I have the the nip in the right way. Huh. Can you see that? You know, it's thick. It's thicker on one side and thinner. So that's that. Wait. And then these need to go here. So put that over there. And then put that over there. And over there too. So yeah. Refill the cartridges for the par parallel pens came from Clover. Also, sent me a pack of sweets and propel propelling pencil free. Nice! Very nice. Okay. Uh, I might need to. I kind of need to visit the potty people. The pot potty people are calling. <laughs> Darn. Uh, wait, I'm going to end this segment.